I would argue that we think Plato and Aristotle are over, but in fact we are recreating precisely this debate between the Platonic ideal and the Aristotelian real. That somehow these guys are real women that you find in the world, and that these women that you also find in the world are actually our attempt to create platonic ideals. We can't, of course, find them, so we have to manufacture them, and then we disseminate them, right? We disseminate platonic ideals. This is Plato pointing up. I actually tried to get his finger a little closer, to it, but it just didn't work out. Though. So I feel like the woman becomes the product in the male magazine versus like she's selling a product in a woman's magazine. But do you think that being the canvas in a woman's magazine, like you're talking about, itself is objectifying? It, it almost just makes me want to laugh it off because I see these images, images of women in men's magazines as almost a celebration of the female form because this is kind of a way of creating something that like really turns dudes on. Right. Like this is the female body is like not only nice because of like all the things we can do to it with makeup, but like the female form itself is like all we want to look at. This is the focus of our attention. Like like you said, without it we wouldn't have a magazine. And whereas with glamour it's more it's almost a betrayal because it's like this is what you should look like. Men's magazine portrayal of women creates a need in a man to say, I want you to look like this. Whereas with glamour, it's more like women saying, I want to look like this. And I think what's tricky is in both cases, coming from different angles, working together, everything's reinforcing each other yeah. to create a culture of standards that everyone is responding to from the, both, both the consumer end and the, and the product end. And I think it's crazy to me that actually men's and women's magazines appear to be working perfectly in tandem in this regard. Uh, we want to just invite you to um, respond creatively. Um, we have a bunch of markers out on the table, uh, post-its if you want to stick anything up, or and just write what your, your critique, what you feel, uh, draw if you want, um, whatever you feel like doing, just to respond to that and hopefully spark further discussion. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Love that. What do we do? You know, that that goes back to an entire discussion about, about warnings on video games, about warnings on movies. Do you rate images of this kind based on their potential to threaten, demoralize, create insecurity? In that wonderful moment in the legislation about reducing anorexia through warning people of these images, it's like an extraordinary idea. And yet, I'm sure some of you know much more about this than I do, but there is some fairly strong indication that images of, like this do, in fact, in some cases, lead to problems of that kind.